Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a an Aries Sun Moon and as well rising a weekly tarot reading for October twenty eighth to November third. My God, I cannot wrap my my mind around this word third. A uh, weekly tarot reading, yeah, <clears throat> for that period, no, uh, November no, October twenty eighth to November third, two thousand and nineteen. So that being said, guys, uh, just bear with me a couple of seconds here to shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump right into it. Lovely. So, uh, the first card, which represents the very topic and the theme of your week here, Aries, that is to be the Two of Cups, followed by the second one, which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week here, we do have the Four of Wands, followed by the third one, which stands for the positive aspect of the week for you, that is to be the King of Wands. And the last card, uh, which represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering for your week, that will be the Seven of uh, Swords, so these, uh, these four cards here. Quite even an interesting read, to be honest. And uh, the first one, which stands for the topic itself here, which is the Two of Cups, is going to be catalyzed by the four. So we do have an, a passive neutrals here into this position. And it's uh, these two cards are talking about traversing distance in between you and another soul. So uh, that is to be the, uh, the, the very topic. And here it does look like that throughout this week, uh, how can I express it? You have to do whatever you can to deprive yourself from um, shyness, for example, or shame, uh, shameless, or I don't know how to say it exactly, but it's it's all about um, open yourself and and showing a, a a determination, for example, and willingness as well to cooperate either career wise or a either relationship wise. And uh, the full card as a neutral to the two of cups, it does point that you may find it a, a bit difficult to uh, represent yourself in a, a carefree status or in a carefree standpoint. So where when you're traversing the distance in between you and the other soul, a potential partner, you know, either a business or a relationship one, person of interest, suitor, friend, etc., etc. <clears throat> you may do it in a fashion of a certain obligations. What I mean is that uh, the whole process of this union in between, um, in between you and that individual needs to happen in a, a very carefree and light way instead of a, a way that's um, predisposed that two of you are going to 
uh, take on a big obligation toward one another. Uh, it is very likely that a, a common idea it is what is going to unite you. You know, the idea of uh, being in a relationship, for example, the idea of being successful into a career and etc. etc. <clears throat> but definitely the topic itself, it does point that you do have a, a big chance of making the things work with someone, right? It could be, like I said, with your husband or with your wife. It could be with your boss. It could be with... Um, with a friend of yours or a suitor, but the very point of these two cards is that you need to kind of like display your ideas uh, for the world or the ideas of, in front of the world. Or yeah, the concept that you do have for a future relationship, for a future career. So that's other soul here kind of finds a common ground with you. So it's a pretty it's a pretty good week. And if you are searching for love, uh, these two cards uh, definitely point that love can be found. But once again, you have to put your shyness on the shelf, guys. It's not going to happen like that. Uh, other way around. So you have to do your part in it. You can't expect that someone is just going to come and knock on your door, right? You basically have to display yourself in front of the world. But um, on a more practical level, these two cards here are pointing that uh, there will be someone who will want to share your status. What I mean is that if you are going through a pain, someone will want to share your pain, therefore halving or diminishing the pain that you are experiencing, emotional pain, I mean. Or if you are going through happiness, then you can share your happiness with someone, therefore doubling the happiness. So the other card, it is the challenge that Taro is uh, presenting to you that you need to overcome. And we do have the Four of Wands with the Six of Cups. So these two cards are forming a active enemies into this, uh, into this position. And... Uh, <clears throat> Some serious, um, how can I say it? Um, your determination needs to speak here. That is to be the challenge itself. So you may, uh, once you start making this connection, you know, with that other soul, you may kind of become more prone to um, tend to the overview, wanting the things to seal itself as far as fast as it can. Start dating with someone and you will want tomorrow to be in a marriage, for example, with this person, all right? Or start negotiating a business proposal and you may want tomorrow that business to happen and to manifest itself and to reap the fruits of the labor. So the challenge here itself is going to be you enjoying the moments because it does look like that you will think two steps ahead, which should not be a, a thing that you need that you have to do because otherwise because uh, because uh, uh, in that specific state where you think for a two steps ahead it is likely that you are going to miss a and an exhilarating moments that you can have with this other soul with this other person all right with the um <clears throat> With the harmonious, um, uh, with the harmony into your relationships, for example, into, into your career or the relationship that you can have moving on forward into the future. So that being said, these two cards here are pointing that you will have a uh, quite, you will find it quite challenging to, to enjoy the small things in life to enjoy the call that you are going to have with this new suitor, for example, or to enjoy the beverage that someone is going to invite you into and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But important thing as well with these two cards here, Aries, is to attend to the whole endeavor in a very playful manner. A playful manner in the sense of that you have to kind of... Um, perform into the mutual endeavors with this soul the way you like it. You shouldn't kind of like force yourself to go through a certain endeavors just uh, from a pure standpoint of a compromise. It is way too early the things to be, uh, the things to kind of like uh, lay on a, a compromise, co compromise foundation. Because, like said, right now you both are traversing a uh, the distance in between you two, and once you touch your hands, you're close enough to touch your hands or to bind. That is, then you both can think of a compromises that you can make with one another. But right now, you know, it is a, a times of a pure pleasure. So 
just give yourself to it completely. The positive aspect here is that we do have a, a person and probably that is the person that you are going to uh, kind of have a chance to make such a connection. That is to be the queen, the king of uh, wands accompanied or catalyzed here by the ace of uh, swords. And that is quite of an ambition, uh, ambitious person, most likely a man, a male who uh, who has a strong determination. Now, usually that is not a something um, appropriate for the king of wands. While he does have an ambition, uh, his determination is to make others to follow that ambition. All right, but this time around, that's not the case. I mean, with the ace of uh, with the ace of swords here as a catalyst, it does look like that that person is ready to also do their part into uh, into this endeavor. Additionally to that, uh, it does look like that, that person as well have a plan for both of you, or rather, like he has a, a vision. It's not plan; it's more like a vision, and the vision is quite positive because this king of uh, king of wands can very well understand and not just only understand but give a um an accurate diagnosis of what could happen in either a business cooperation or relationship cooperation between the two and for what it seems it's ready to do whatever it takes in order to accomplish it but he I get once again he cannot do it all all right you have to do your part in it as well and the last one it is the guidance that Saro is offering to you, Aries. We do have the Seven of Swords, and that is accompanied with the uh, Six of Wands. So we do have an active friends here. And what these two cards are completely divulging for you, it is that you need to rely on your presence, your charisma, and your previous achievements. They do speak a lot for you, and you should not undermine those. What I mean is that you shouldn't think less of yourself. Just on the contrary, you need to be proud for what you are, and you need to display it in front of the world so you can attract this King of Wands. Because the King of Wands, it's very... Um, how can I say it? It is a person with high standards, okay? And if you show that you don't have high standards as well, it is unlikely that they are going to pay attention to you. I mean, the, on a positive aspect, they are going to be there. But <clears throat> if, when you show, you know, that you also have a high standard or you do kind of have a big, few, a big thoughts or big aims, for your future, either regarding career or either regarding relationship, and that you are capable to stand for your rights, okay, and that you don't allow people to make you to make a fool of you, and etc. etc. That is gonna make a big impression into him. And when the impression is already engraved, it looks like that you are going to reap those fruits of your hard hard work or, or the or the work of attracting a such kind of a, a guy or a, a girl. And once the thing is happening between you two, not just only there will be a soil for love, but as well for a, a lot of passion. One last thing here for the King of Wands, that is a person who knows how to make fun in life. So that being said, there is this was your weekly tarot reading, October 27th to November 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.